In April, Steve, a 35-year-old filmmaker from Los Angeles, was at the Venetian in Las Vegas playing a Wheel of Fortune slot machine and feeling like a million bucks. He was taking $7 spins and after an hour of sinking $500 into the machine, Steve got a gold spin bonus and won $700. The next day, he was still feeling lucky and found what he thought was a hot machine. He fed it $200 and lost it all within minutes. He ran to the ATM to get another $200, lost again, and finally walked away, after losing $1, $400. To professional sports better and veteran advantage game player who goes by the nom the casino captain Jack Andrews, what happened to Steve is textbook. They will all lose their money, Andrews says. It's just about how quickly they will lose. After all, slot machines have long been the cash cow of casinos, accounting for nearly 69% of Nevada's $13. 4 billion in gaming revenue last year, but something unexpected happened when Las Vegas went into lockdown in early 2020, when the city reopened aft. There were fewer slots on the floor, but the house was making more money. The gamble has continued to pay off. Between March 2021 and April 2022, Nevada went on a 14-month streak collecting more than $1 billion in gaming revenue from the state's casinos, a state record. The leader in revenue drivers? Slot machines. Slot win is on the sword pace, says Michael Lawton, a senior research analyst for the Nevada Gaming Control Board. One-armed bandits generated $9. 2 billion last year across the Silver State, another record for Nevada in 16. 4% increase over $7. 9 billion slots reaped in 2019. Between 2010 and 2019, slots accounted for 63. 3% of total state win. As was the case in many industries, casinos re-evaluated everything about their businesses during the COVID shutdowns. And with slot machines, operators found a new sweet spot. It was the great reset, says Lawton. In 2019, Nevada had an average of 140, 554 slot machines.